Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 tutorial. You can here see there's a lounge chair in the water, also a table and many chairs, so this is fully functional. And in this Sims 4 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this. This is completely CC free. It's also unmodded. You do not need the tool mod for this, so this is completely vanilla. You only need the base game and you can create this yourself and you can just follow along. Also shout out to the amazing JP gaming a while ago I followed his tutorial for a pool bar in the pool like a regular bar in the pool and his method inspired me to figure this out myself like this here the lounge chair and the table I'm going to link his tutorial in the description box because he inspired me to kind of think of this and to try to pull this off and yeah now we are going to jump right in and I'm going to show you how you can create this yourself so here you can see a base game lounge chair and a base game table and chair. So you really only need the base game for this. It does not matter which table chairs or lounge chair you are using, but just so you can see that you really only need the base game, I'm going to use these objects. We start off by using a platform. I'm just clicking on the square platform and I'm making it a bit bigger just so the table fits onto this area as you can see here and I'm now clicking on the platform and I'm lowering it into the ground and it depends on the objects you are using how far you want to lower it so in this case I'm going to place the table in there and I'm going to make it one step lower so this is down to personal preference in this case it's a bit more tricky when it comes to the launch chair in my experience I'm going to talk about this when we move on to the launch chair but here in this case you could do it two ways I'm going to show you both ways to do this right next to each other so I'm placing another table over here and more chairs of course so you can see that this one is sitting lower than this one it doesn't matter which version you want to use in both cases you now click on the platform and you move the platform over like this and you can see that it disappears and you only have your chairs and the table i'm going to do the same over here and you can see it's a bit higher i'm now going to use the pool tool and i'm going to build a pool and you can here see the difference already here the chair is in the water which in my opinion looks a bit cooler here it sits a bit higher but both versions are functional i'm going to switch to lift mode to show this to you and i'm going to let the sim sit down now they just swim over and sit down so here she sits in the water and she doesn't so it totally depends what you want to create and both versions are functional so i didn't really like that this like the table just randomly floats in the water and i wanted to connect it in a in some way and there are different ways to do this and i'm going to show you quickly what you could do you could either do it like this and don't worry as soon as you like manipulate the the pool a bit this happens and the sims just swim in the water you could do something like this for example so it looks as if the table is connected to a wall for example or and this is what i did over here you could use a base game debug object and as you saw this is functional and i'm going to show you how to do this first you activate your debug sheets i'm going to show you the sheets here in case you don't know how to activate them and you also want to activate the move objects sheet this is important i i would generally recommend to activate the sheet when you are doing something like this and i'm going to show you how to find this object i type in world in here and then i scroll down a little bit and then you will see the object you're looking for over here yeah different pavement tiles past tiles and this one here does not block your sims so you can just place it in the pool like this and now I'm holding down control and nine on my keyboard to move it up like this. And then I'm just going to place it 
somewhere over here, for example. And now we will see if this is functional. So the sim is supposed to sit down and it works. I just think that this looks a bit better because it's not, it's not randomly floating, but this is down to personal preference. You could do all kinds of different things and just follow your creativity. But I recommend using this object in case you want to have some type of support below the chair because this specific base game debug object does not block your sims and they can just use it if you replace a shelf below for example the sims would be blocked and now let's take a look at the lounge chair i'm going to place a platform and another one i'm going to click twice on this one and i'm going to click three times on this one and i'm going to place the lounge chairs in there and I'm going to do the same again. I'm moving over the platform like this and now I have some lounge chairs sitting in the ground. And I'm also going to use the pool tool in this case and it looks like this. You can see that this is slightly lowered and like sitting in the water a bit and this sits in the water more. And I'm going to show you how this works. So the sim walks over and she gets in and she uses it. She's also going to use this one. So what's the issue? Your Sims won't sit on these. They are telling you that it's not working. So this is not working sadly, but they will relax and nap on them. So you have to keep this in mind because when you are building this and then you click on sit and the sim is telling you like a nope, you did not do something wrong. You just have to keep this in mind. This is for just napping and lounging. This is not for sitting. So this is important. And this is it. You can here see what you already saw in the beginning. This is what I created. I think it would be super cool to have the lounge chair over here, for example. And I just can't wait to hear from you in the comments what you are going to create with this. Let me know what you will do. If you are on Twitter, feel free to tag me so I can take a look at your amazing creations. And yeah, if you have any questions, as always, ask away. As I said, it's important to activate the necessary cheats if you want to take a look at debug, for example please activate the bb.moveobject sheet. And yeah, you don't need any CC for this. No mods, just the base game. Yeah, I hope you will have fun with this method. Ask away in the comments and let me know what you think about this. And I wish you a perfect day. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.